Hello and welcome to FileHold video tour series. This topic will be discussing email extraction rules. I'm Renee Sove with FileHold Systems. Hello and welcome to FileHold's video tour series on extracting metadata from Microsoft Outlook emails. Today we'll be showing you how to extract your email header information in Microsoft Outlook into the metadata fields of FileHold. Uh, first off, what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we have a email schema set up. So I'm going to go to my document schemas and I'm going to look at my email extraction schema. So we can see here I have it set up, email extraction, uh, it's an electronic document. I have all of the users who are allowed to see these documents or add documents into file hold in the current members list. And here are my metadata fields for the schema. So I have all of the information that can be extracted from an email header. I have uh, two from, date sent, subject, uh, CC, and attachments. So when you're creating your a schema for your Outlook emails, make sure you have all of these fields in there. These are all text fields with the exception of the date, which is a date type metadata field. So now that that's been done, I'm going to go ahead and create my extraction rule. I'm going to go to Tools, Extraction Rules, and this is only available for administrators and file hold. From here you can see that there are three different types of extraction rules. There's an email headers rule, which we'll be creating today, a file properties rule, and an XML node extraction rule. And these two can be seen in other video tour series. But today we're going to be creating an email headers rule, so I'm going to click that, and I'm going to create my rule here. Uh, you can see that uh, the file hold automatically knows that these are going to be .msg files, so these are going to be Outlook files, and this rule is enabled. So at any time, if you ever want to come in here, you can here and disable this rule, and that automatic extraction uh, will not work any longer. Uh, so let's map that to our email extraction schema. And now all we need to do is map, these are our metadata fields, our metadata fields, we need to map those to the email header information. So I'm going to map attachments to attachments, cc to cc from subject to and date. So now all of our header information has been mapped to our metadata fields and file hold. So I'm going to click OK. Here's our rule here. It's now in the list. I'm going to click close and I'm just going to log off and log back into file hold just to ensure that that rule has uh, taken effect. And I'm going to open up Outlook. So here is my Outlook. Here's a message. I'm going to open up this message and we can see here, here's our add-ins tab in file hold and this is the file hold toolbar. And from here, you can access any document uh, from file hold, add, check out, or use this uh, to uh, review and approve documents for workflow. I'm going to actually add my email to file hold. I'm going to click the add button. And my file hold office client window opens. And you can see here that file hold automatically recognizes this uh, email. And it's using our email extraction rule and it's automatically extracting all of the information from the header of the email into my metadata fields. You can see here that my CC is blank, so there is nothing here. The date sent, so I'm archiving an older email. I do have an attachment on my email, here it is, and this is the to and the from. Before we can file this document into file hold, I need to select a location. I'm going to go to my recent folders list and I'm going to select one of my mostly used folders. I'm going to select this new features folder and I'm going to click add. I'm going to go to file hold and check my document. I'm going to go to my recently added folders and here is that email I just added into file hold. Let's look at the metadata. I'm going to open up the metadata pane. And here is that information in file hold that was automatically extracted into the metadata fields. I just want to point out one more thing before we leave, and that's it. If you don't want to add the entire email into file hold, you can just right click on the attachment itself and say add to file hold. And we can just uh, add that file into file hold itself without having to add the entire email message. I'm going to fill this out. I'm going to say this is a claimant form. And 
I'm just going to fill up my metadata that's required. I'm going to click Add. And let's go back into File Hold. And let's go to my Recently Added. And here is that document I just added into File Hold. Thank you for watching our video tour series on email extraction rules. For more information, please contact sales at filehold.com.